But hello, Libra. How are you guys today? I hope you guys are having a really good Saturday. This is going to be for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. I could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also, remember to just take what resonates and Libra does not fit, okay? So let's see, Spirit Guides, Angels. What do we have going on for Libra? Messages for Libra. Please and thank you. Messages for Libra. What is going on? Okay, so we got number 44, Ocean of Eternal Love, Healing, Creativity, and Fertility. Capricorn had this card. Okay, maybe go watch Capricorn's reading. Okay, then we have number 40, Yin and Yang, Creation, I mean, Creating Harmony Through Balance. Okay, period. So you're really balancing out your masculine and feminine energies at this time. I feel like you guys are coming into a more peaceful time in your life here. Some of you guys are very fertile right now, so uh, maybe this will be a good time to get pregnant. If you're trying for a baby, some of you guys are working on your heart chakra as well. As well, You're trying to open up here, bring more love maybe into a situation. But let's see. Or to yourself, okay? So it says, it is said that love conquers all. This is especially true for you at the moment. Something is resolved and healed through love. What was previously barren now becomes fertile. A seed is planted and you are the co-creator. The conditions are favorable. The timing is right. A new creation awaits you. The birth of something new brings joy and excitement. The forever changing season of seasons of eternity turn their invisible wheel and a new cycle begins. A new image is born. So your affirmation is love heals. Love brings resolution. Love conquers. Love creates. And love is eternal. I so love this message, y'all. Like this so fits Libra because, you know, Taurus... Libra energy is Venus. I really love this energy. <laughs> okay, I love that that affirmation. I love everything about that message. So let's see what the cards say. Let's see what you need to know. Okay, Spirit God's Angels for Libra. What do we have here for Libra? Clarify this energy. Clarify this ocean of eternal love card for Libra. What is going on here for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. What is going on for Libra? Okay, bottom of the deck, look, we have the star. Look at that. Okay, somebody here could be an Aquarius. All right, then we have the Emperor. Aries energy, the death. Yeah, something major is happening here. So definitely healing. Okay, definitely creativity. Okay, some of you guys could be getting in tune with your um, spirituality here. Okay, there could be a positive resolution to an issue here i feel like um something is going to turn around for you if you're having an issue i feel like uh this heal uh the star card talks about healing and positive outcomes staying optimistic okay so so you have the best possible outcome here to whatever this is that you're going through some of you guys could be seen in the public eye you could be astrologers definitely i'm getting star sea energy with this this person here with this silver this blue painted on her Okay, but some of you guys could be stars or you're stepping into stardom or you will be a star. Okay, some of you guys are big bosses. You're a leader. All right, you live a very um, organized and structured life. But, you know, the star is good energy coming out first. So could definitely be healing, uh, rejuvenating. Okay, what else for Libra? Clarify this message here for Libra. Okay, Palace of Wands. Yes, a lot of creativity. Okay, I'm hearing some of you guys could be getting a new job here where you can finally let your creative juices flow. I feel like you're very creative at this time or you're very fertile. Okay, some of you, I'm hearing some of you guys could be having a um, starseed baby. So this is going to be like your little angel, oh, your little angel on earth. <laughs> could be for some of you. That's not going to be for everybody. But I feel like your creative juices are flowing though. Let's see something. Let me see, because this is a new deck, and um, I want to see what the Palace of Wands really is. Okay, when I get the Wands energy, I just get creativity, inspiration. Okay, here we go. It says, this card shows a warm environment that encourages creative inspiration and the launching of plans and projects. Yes, the structures are built into a mountaintop, suggesting both the long climb ahead and also the attainability of the goal. Butterflies symbolize transformation of dreams into reality, and red roses signify passion. The structures are lit from within the fires of the heart. Statues portraying the Knight of Wands symbolize for momentum and focus. Yeah, so you guys could be traveling, okay, with the Wands energy. But you guys are definitely focused on creating something here. That's I feel like it's going to, you know, 
yeah, I'll be very lucrative to you here. Somebody's moon can be in Taurus. Okay, but let's see, what else? Definitely, um, I don't know, something will make you that money. Yes, page of coins. So you are planning something. For some of you, this could be about a child here. Some of you guys are putting your child into some things here that you know that they would like. So they can be big stars or, or fam not famous, but you know, shit, rich. I'd rather be rich than famous. <laughs> but sometimes they go hand in hand, you know? So some people are meant to be famous and rich and shit like that. That's their path. I feel like like what I'm seeing here could be. <laughs> but Page of Pentacles is definitely good news coming in. A Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be reaching out to you or this could be a job. If you've been looking for a job or looking for somewhere you can kind of like... um where you can kind of like work and feel more inspired and focused and shit like that okay some of you guys are traveling all right i feel like that's coming in but we're gonna see what's what here what else for libra okay damn so we have yes the empress look at you libra the lovers gemini energy taurus libra energy is here and then we have the um Two of Wands, somebody's uh Mars could be an Aries. Bottom of the deck, Ten of fucking Pentacles. Yes, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> okay, Ten of Cups, wow. So yeah, something here had to end. Somebody's Mercury could be in Virgo. Somebody's Mars could be in Pisces. Something definitely had to end with the Three of Swords right here. Somebody's Saturn could be in Libra. Okay, something is over. Honey, whatever this is, it's a lot of passion here. This could be, for some of you, this could be about a relationship where this person, you inspire this person, they inspire you. You guys are both very creative and putting y'all together is going to bring about this bag, <laughs> okay? And I feel like you guys are very warm people. You help people, okay? But there there could be a relationship here where that's, that's like very special. You and somebody here really love each other. It's a deep, strong, intense connection. It could be a twin flame for some of you. Some of you guys have two paths to choose from, okay? Two doors are opening, or this could just be you planning something. Definitely being strategic. Page of Wands with the Two of Wands. I feel like you're trying to put something in motion. Okay, Two of Wands could be trying to make a decision, but it could also mean um, planning, okay? I don't know why I just heard. You guys could be seeing two, two, two. Okay, I just heard that. I don't know who that applies to. But some of you guys could be going back to school here. Some of you guys are trying to figure out where you want to go to school. But yeah, you have a goal that you're trying to reach here. And I feel like you're going to reach it. So let's see. Two of Wands is suddenly... Two of Wands could, su could mean suddenly like going somewhere, suddenly returning. It could mean either or. It has different meanings. Okay, what's... um. What is this? Uh, I don't even know what to clarify first. What's the star? What's the star? Yeah, you probably have a choice to make. For some of you, it's between two people. What's the star for Libra? Oh, look. Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Somebody could really be a Taurus. Okay, I'm feeling strongly. Yes, honey. Whatever this is, it's going to put you on your feet here. This is stability, security. Some of you guys are getting a new home, a new job, okay? Um, maybe you're starting a new business here that's going to bring you success, victory. But the Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity coming in here. It could be a promotion, a raise, or whatever. But it's definitely going to bring stability, okay? Like, with the star and the Ace of Coins... So if you're thinking about doing something, I feel like this is your confirmation to go ahead and do it. You, especially with the Empress here, you're very fertile. Whether it be you're trying for a baby, it could be anything. It's general, so just take it how it resonates. But now it's harvest time with this corn here and this whatever this is. What is this? Is this an apple? I don't know if they're apples or whatever. But it just reminds me of harvesting. Yes, what's this pile of wands? Okay, the five of coins. Uh, somebody's Mercury could be in Taurus. A lot of Taurus energy here. So um, for some of you, you had to kick somebody out your home is what I'm hearing. Some of you guys are leaving somebody out in the cold for a new opportunity. There's like a feeling of like neglect or feeling left out, like abandoned. 
some of you guys could be struggling right now but honey what's this uh palace of wands with the five of coins that's about to turn around if that's your ass or whoever's on the good side of karma here yeah six of cups yeah somebody somebody misses you <laughs> oh this could be about um somebody's sun sign could be in scorpio this might be a scorpio but um some of you guys could be living out a childhood dream here something that you always wanted to do you're implementing a plan here to, to get it done <laughs> okay you guys could be taking more classes or but this is something that you're just ready to jump into Okay, you're very ambitious here. Some of you guys could be in training or something for a job. Some of you guys could be working with kids. You could do something very artsy or like a start of a, um, like you're inventing something. With this Aquarius energy here, you could be inventing something that's never been thought of ever by anybody. And it could really like change the world here. For some of you, this is about a relationship. The lovers with the six of cups and the empress. So the, if you're the Empress here, Libra, somebody's really thinking about you. They're very nostalgic. For some of you, this person doesn't have a place to stay or um, they feel left out in the cold by you. But they, they have uh, past lives with you, okay? This person, I feel like they love you. <laughs> Somebody here loves you. I feel like you really inspire this person to get on their shit and do better, if that's the case. But there is love here. I feel like there's a strong passion here, but I do feel like there's a, maybe a need for stability, which I see it coming out in the reading. Somebody's getting their stability together. Yes, yeah, seven of pentacles. Okay, like somebody Saturn can be in Taurus. A lot of Taurus energy. Y'all can have a lot of Taurus, how, a lot of second houses here in your chart or something. But what's this page of, um? so the six of cups is definitely soulmate energy. It's good. It, it could mean reconciliation. Okay, it could mean for some of you, you work with kids. You have a strong passion for doing something with children. Some of you guys are healing your inner child. You're healing your abandonment issues here. And as you're healing, I feel like it's fueling you to kind of like um, step out there and do something new or maybe go into a relationship here as you're healing. But what's the page of pentacles for Libra? This is beautiful energy. It's very nice. I love it. Okay, yeah, the king of cups. Yeah, so, so I feel like if this is a job, Libra, this is something that you really love. And I feel like with the king of swords, you're going to be the head honcho. You're going to be the leader. You're going to want, you're going to be the one that's going to set all the rules, set the foundation. Okay, you could be dealing with the Gemini. There's Taurus again up here. Yeah, I'm hearing something about robots. I don't know why I just heard something about robots. Maybe I have a toy robot. <laughs> or you could be inventing something when it comes down to robots. I mean, times are changing, honey. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? But, you know, um, King of Cups, this could be a person as well. Well, what I was getting ready to say was, let me backtrack. Uh, King of Cups is somebody that's very devoted, okay? Um, I feel like you're putting all your emotions into this. Somebody here could be an Aquarius, definitely, or Pisces. But somebody is very devoted, okay, to, to their craft here. Some of you guys could be healers. You could work in healthcare with the King of Cups energy. Very creative. So I feel like somebody's very creative, very intuitive as well. But this could be somebody coming towards you here to express their, their love. Or this is somebody that holds a lot of feelings for you. You could have a child with this person. Okay, not all of you do. Because this could be somebody new in your energy or somebody from your past, but they're fairly new because maybe things haven't gotten off the ground or whatever the fuck. But I feel like somebody's in love with you. Just period. I, I really do. So this King of Cups, th there's a King of Cups coming in to present you an offer. Or this is you here just enjoying what you do. You put a lot of emotions into whatever this is. It it, it hits a, a special part in your in your soul, <laughs> in your emotions, okay? Like, I don't know. What's the Empress? What's the Empress? Okay, the Seven of Wands. Somebody's Mars could be in Leo. So for some of you, you block somebody or you're blocking somebody or, or you're having to defend yourself here. You're having to defend your position, I'm hearing. Or you're just standing up for the things that you believe in. You're very strong. You're very powerful. Okay. Let me see. What else for the Empress with the Seven of Wands? Wow. King of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. They go Libra with the Queen of Swords. And then we have the King of Wands. You could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio or Sagittarius. 
so some of you guys this person is fighting for you here it, it's, these people could be getting blocked or getting cut off or um maybe you feel like you need to defend yourself against a couple people there's somebody genuine in your energy that's king of cups with the page of pentacles this is somebody could be from your past that, that's in love with you. Maybe they're battling these people. Or this could be you setting boundaries with the Queen of Swords. This could be you, Libra. You cutting people the fuck off. Who's this King of Wands? Who's the King of Wands? Okay, the Chariot. Cancer Energy. Palace of Swords, Knight of Cups. Some of y'all just got options. <laughs> okay, I feel like you're blocking people, but people are coming in. I don't know. This could be somebody you're moving away from or you moved on from. This King of Wands energy. I don't know, but somebody's very fired up, ready to like pounce on your ass. Okay, with the chariot. This is like pushing forward, moving through obstacles. What's this King of Wands with the chariot? I'm trying to figure out who this person is so I can get a better description. Okay, yeah, the Nine of Swords. Somebody's Mars could be in Gemini. So this person is having anxiety or they're worried. I feel like that's you're moving on. Yeah. You're moving into a more stable time in your life, Libra. I just feel like you're blocking this person or you're, you feel like you have to defend yourself because you're just, maybe you're tired of them or I don't know. I feel like this person could be worried about something. They're, they're stressed. They could be being haunted by something that they did. Maybe, maybe this person was too stuck in their ego. But I don't know. This person is coming towards you, though, with the chair. I feel like this is, this is somebody else coming in, too. So I don't know. Oh, shoot. Who's, what's the Queen of Swords doing? What's the Queen of Swords doing? Even though I think that's your ass. Yeah, Justice. Yeah. Look at your ass coming out. Libra energy. So, yes. For some of you, um, you could be going through a court situation with your baby dad or baby mama is what I'm hearing. Or somebody. Okay. But for others of you, that's not the case something is being balanced out there's karma there's justice here okay karmic retribution things being you know working out in your favor i feel like things being fair so somebody getting karma for something i feel like they ass is nervous i don't know you cut their ass off or you you told it like it is some of you guys could be public speakers you speak the truth but you definitely when it comes down to some other people you speak your truth and that's just what it is if people don't like it then oh well <laughs> but you know for some of you, this could be like a, um, I don't know why I just heard a counselor. Some of you guys could be counselors or this could be like, I don't know. I heard moderator as well or mediator. That's yeah, mediator. For some of you, this could be like a lawyer or a judge or a woman that's handling your um, legalities here. If that's what's going on. That's giving you wise advice. Okay, because the Queen of Swords is very intelligent and very blunt and straight to the point, just like how I like it. <laughs> A lot of people don't understand that, but what's this lovers? What's the lovers? Okay, yeah, the strength card. Leo energy. Didn't I say a strong connection? Something is very strong here. I feel like the connection is very strong. Both of you guys really just, I don't know. A lot about money. You could definitely be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. Somebody's Mars could be in Capricorn. Somebody Saturn can be in Taurus again. Okay, but with the strength card, Leo energy, I feel like there's a relationship here that is forming here. It's becoming more stronger. What is the lovers with the strength card? Yeah, King of Swords. Now we have the King of Swords to the Queen. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a divine counterpart. For others of you, you could be going through a divorce. It could be all mixed in. Okay, take it how it resonates. But I feel like this is somebody that's just as intelligent as you, just as um, real as you, very authentic. I feel like some of you guys might have the same ideas with somebody. This could be your twin with the match here. Somebody could definitely be a Gemini or a Taurus just showing up. Taurus, go watch Taurus's reading, guys. But the King of Swords is an authoritative figure here. Somebody could be in the military or, or work for the legal system or something like that. But the King of Swords leads with integrity, truth. I feel like this is somebody that likes structure. They're very logical. Okay, they could be head over heart sometimes, but I feel like somebody's trying to get into their heart space. This could be somebody that's been cold towards you, not really saying anything. Who's this King of Swords? Since I clarified the Queen of Swords. Who's the King of Swords? I'm trying to figure out who these people are. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. So, 
yeah taurus again with the hierophant taurus again this person they want a relationship with you they want to invest time in you here with the seven of pentacles i feel like somebody moves slow as fuck but it's because they want to make sure something is going to be um right yeah, this is this person. I feel like this person stays in their head a lot, okay? They could have different belief systems as you. They could be trying to get in tune with their spirituality to kind of like match your energy when it comes down to that. Doesn't have doesn't mean that they have to be spiritual. It's just I don't know. Maybe something about their belief systems are changing, but somebody's definitely a leader or a teacher or or this person here just wants to um maybe you are a guide to help this person in a 3D, like an earth angel or something like that star seed or something this person could be praying a lot or like you're praying for this person a lot or somebody is doing something but the seven of pentacles is your hard work not going unnoticed here is harvesting it's, it's a harvest you're reaping the, the benefits of um this harvest reaping what you have sown here uh your hard work paying off type of thing with the seven of pentacles so yeah this looks like a commitment is coming up with the lovers it definitely looks like that or you're committing to a certain goal here Okay, take it how it resonates. What's this two of wands? The devil. Capricorn energy. What's the two of wands with the devil? So there could be something in one of these doors. Wow, king of um, pentacles. And then we have the death card. Yeah, so something is over. And I feel like you're transforming. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, page of wands. So good news coming in. Yeah, you have a lot of options to choose from. And I feel like you're leaving a lot of people out in the cold here, uh, Libra. Okay, you... Um, there could be something tempting you uh, material-wise, okay? That's that's like maybe superficial or toxic in a way. All right, some of you guys are just really trying to transform. You're really um, trying to get your shit together. Let me see something, though. I don't feel right leaving it like that because I'm trying to see something. <laughs> Let's see. What's this um, King of Pentacles? Who's the King of Pentacles? Because, I mean, there's a lot of people here. I can't front. Okay, the um, Two of Coins. Two of Pentacles. Jupiter and Capricorn, somebody could have. So, stability. Trying to balance something out to be in the King of Pentacles energy. I feel like balance is being restored in somebody's life. Wherever these kings are, this could be your person yeah all four kings are here king of cups king of pentacles king of swords and the um king of wands i feel like this is your masculine balancing their life out this could be all one person for some of you it is multiple people but i feel like balance is being restored this could be what needed to be restored here in somebody's life this their money okay what's this devil what's the devil okay yeah uh jupiter could be in libra okay I'm about shit. This might resonate with my ass. Because my Jupiter is in Libra and I'm a Taurus. <laughs> um, so this is the four swords in reverse. Yeah. So somebody's finding the mental strength. I feel like somebody's defeating the devil here. Whatever was the attachment, I feel like somebody is letting their ass go. They can be the devil over there. Okay, I feel like somebody is, is gaining the mental strength to, to get up and move forward. There could have been something holding your person down mentally where they couldn't even think straight. Or this is you. Four swords, I mean, is your energy. Jupiter and Libra. Yeah, I feel like somebody's ready to rejoin the world again. They're ready to kind of like move away from whatever was holding them down. Or some, something could be tempting somebody, but I feel like they're going to be fine. Okay, this could be you. What's this death card? So transformation yeah knight of cups yeah so bottom of the deck is the hangman pisces energy so i feel like um th this this person if it's all one person they're, they're getting their energies balanced out so that way they could be the person that you want them to be or need them to be here in their relationship okay your your masculine could be embodying all um four of these uh energies here this is all four of these energies makes up the emperor <laughs> literally is what i'm saying Okay, for some of you, it's not the case. It's, it's like a lot of masculines around you that maybe want your attention or want you. Okay, some genuinely want you, maybe some don't. But Knight of Cups is somebody, there's a romantic offer coming in. Your love life is transforming, Libra. Just saying. So, let's see, what do we have for Libra spirit? Very nice reading though, Libra. Very nice. 
very nice bottom of the deck we have pineapple yeah reconciliation look somebody coming back to get you i'm telling you this is your masculine something could be happening in october that is your birthday right libra october like um maybe the end of september october i don't know what else for libra wow yeah very powerful yep <laughs> on the floor we have barrel you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or gold yeah this is something was lacking in somebody's life here your persons because i feel like you're good <laughs> bottom of the deck we have star again guaranteed success yes yeah, somebody's seen in the public eye somebody is definitely going to be a star that's guaranteed that's for a fact okay just period um you could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius too as well. So we have Will. Family wishes coming true. Beautiful. Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Somebody here could be an Aries. So somebody here could be very stubborn. Or you could have had to cut off some stubborn, aggressive people. People that were not trying to work with you or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I feel like you're cutting them off. Or this is your person doing this. We have Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Okay, then we have Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So it could have been your person. That was unwilling to change because you're already in the Empress energy. I mean, you had to do your work too, but you've been there. <laughs> Just period. I feel like you're really standing in your power and you're pushing this person to change and is working. <laughs> Target, a goal-oriented person. Okay, clearly. <laughs> Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Yeah, somebody missed your ass. Wealth. Yeah, you're definitely where the money resides here. Just period. Wealth can mean spiritual as well. Okay, definitely wealthy in the soul, in the mind, everything. Beetle, good fortune. Yep, ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. That's definitely here. I feel like both of them is here for you, Libra. Then we have legs, stepping into a new experience. Yep, I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Definitely your ass is psychic. I feel like your person could be too, because now they're balancing out. Okay, they're, 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 I feel like they're learning more about their emotions, their feelings. Okay, learning how to, because the King of Cups could be somebody that's very that's psychic as well, just like the Queen of Cups. So we have Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Yeah, Dagger. Fear, worries, intense situations. Yeah. Gavel. Involvement with the law. Yep, I knew something was going on with the law. All right. Parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets, so there could be a lot of gossip around what's going on here. Because a lot of people are getting kicked to the curb. Dog barking. Advice from a friend. Then we have Shark. Take care or there will be a financial, there will be a loss of material wealth. So somebody, um, somebody in this situation thought that they had friends that they can take good advice from or whatever. I feel like they took the wrong advice. They got themselves stuck into some bullshit financially, possibly. It could be. Then we have flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Okay, period. Bird perched. Waiting for news, package, or a letter. So somebody could be waiting. Where's the three of swords? Did I see three, I mean, three of wands. Or am I tripping? I don't think I did see three of wands, but whatever. <laughs> then we have ink pot problems to be resolved. So yeah, I feel like, I feel like somebody wants to reconcile with you and solve an issue. They really are moving with you in mind. You know, balance is being restored. I feel like in this relationship or whatever this is, and I just feel like you are not playing with this person. They know this. This is why they ask is nervous. Yeah, if you're telling them like if you don't if you don't hurry the fuck up or do what you have to do or or show me that you really want me, then I'm out. I feel like you said that and you're demanding justice at this point for some of you that's how it's going but leave me some comments guys let me know all right like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on to all so you guys can get all of my notifications for when i post and congratulations guys in advance okay period for all your lovely endeavors here all right and i'll talk to you guys later bye